Hi, guys. Everybody loves Roman Sheriff. That's right, guys. Uh, what happened? Well, basically, guys, I'm reporting on the timepiece, gentlemen. Five million dollar disaster. And now Roman has made a video. He's released a video about this absolute mess and I, I gotta be totally honest with you i didn't think this really had anything to do with roman sheriff i mean what the fuck does it have to do with roman sheriff guys let's run the intro and let's come back and talk everybody loves roman sheriff <laughs> guys it's archie luxury and today guys i'm making a video about the video roman sheriff made which was a reaction to anthony's farah's fraud confession and i gotta tell you i'm a big fan of mr sheriff let's just I, have a look i have to do this shit again if you guys remember post the infamous blackout Okay, Roman, we get it. We get it. You're not particularly happy either. Well, I ain't happy either. It's shit. I ended up recording a video. Now, uh, I felt that I needed to make this statement uh, because now that all the information has come out, especially the confessional or the confession video that Anthony put out, kind of puts it all in perspective. There's no more guessing. I don't do these videos for clicks or like some of the other channels, which is why I waited a few days to see all the information Good come out. Hear. Uh, just like with the last video, I am going to delete this video once enough views. Once this video gets enough views okay, and you guys get the, my statement and I feel comfortable. Okay, that get it, to the point, um, Roman. So uh, I'm going to put some facts out on the table. And the biggest thing that's buzzing around the internet and all the other platforms is, oh, that's your guy. You vouch for this guy. You put him in. You did this, that, the other, and everybody got hurt. That's wrong. Okay. I had a business to business relationship with Anthony. Yes, one of the things that we do is we are in the YouTube world. When Anthony started, and I started the YouTube channel and all the other guys, Anthony was a big name in the YouTube space until he messed it all up with the quote-unquote blackout, right? Yeah, he's a total fuckwit. 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 That's right. Total fuckwit. And we all collab together. Does that make him my guy and somebody that I vouch for? No. Numerous people have reached out to me. This is mainly B2B. Right. We're talking about and I said, hey, can I send Anthony a fifty thousand dollar watch? My response has always been the same. I have done business with Anthony in the past. He has never not paid me for anything. He has never screwed me over on a deal. Uh, all the business that was done with Anthony was basically Anthony buying things from us. I don't remember or recall, perhaps in a rare occasion, we did buy a watch from him. Don't know. Irrelevant. Bottom line is, is that every transaction that I've done with him has been a good one. And that's the information that I would pass on to any other dealer that would ask me about him. With that said, guess what? Hey, I've done business with person X. He has been good thus far. Use your own judgment and whatever risk you want to take. And that's the nature of our business. Every single day we take a risk when we do business B2B specific. Okay, so there we go there. And uh, Roman, Roman basically made videos and... They, they they did some collabs and they did some shit, but yeah, it's funny how I like the way all of a sudden Roman is liable for everything. I mean, that's just fucking ridiculous. Roman can't be liable. As he says there, people have said, uh, how was your dealings with timepiece, gentlemen? And he said, hey, we have done some business together. I got paid. No problems. That's what he said. That is what he said. And I got to be honest with you, this is quite hilarious.
Roman's not responsible just because he he explained what the story is. He's not fucking liable for eternity. He doesn't give a lifetime warranty, a lifetime warranty on everything that um, Timepiece Conman does or has done. And um, i got to be totally honest with you. It's lunacy. It's lunacy that people have come out and said, oh, this is your guy. It's not Roman's guy. If it was Ro I'll tell you who Roman's guy. Roman's guy is Roman staff. That's correct. Absolutely ridiculous that Roman is getting any. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I mean, Roman is an independent business person. They people have asked him, how did you go? With timepiece, gentlemen, he said, "Oh, it was always okay. Everything went okay." So I, I find it really crazy. People want blame. They like to come on the interweb, blame. Specifically, what does that mean? I call a guy. Guy calls me. He's like, "Hey, Roman, I need that watch. I have a client for it. Can't really pay for it up front. I'm going to get paid, and I'm going to pay you." I make a conscious decision based on pre. And there we go. That's that's the story. That is the story there. So I got to be honest with you. I don't understand why so many people think Roman is liable. I mean, Roman. Well, let me start off with saying that I can't what else selling is selling cups is the conversation I believe would have with him on one of our videos. But I sincerely hope that he finds a way to make things right and to and does as he said he's he's going to do in this video because he said that look i'm not going anywhere i'm not filing chapter 11 or whatever it's going to be i'm going to do everything i can in my power to make things right with clients as well as dealers i can't in my wildest dream imagine how he's going to do that uh but yeah i can't fucking work that one out either that's exactly right roman i sincerely hope that he does now for those that are going to say, oh, you were with him and you did this even after the blackout when everybody was telling he's a fraud and I told you so, I hate to admit it, I'm going to say you're right. But my problem is, is that for those that know me, personally know me, they know I'm a nice guy. They know that I'm somebody that is nice to a default. I will give everyone a benefit of the doubt. I'm always going to believe in the underdog. I'm always going to think in a positive way. I don't think negative. I think that's part of what makes me and our company so successful is because we tend to be nice for those that we do business with, both in the private sector as well as the B2B sector. You can ask anybody in this industry, any dealer out there to say a bad word about myself or our company, you won't get any because genuinely buy two individual and hold it against the rest of the watch community, but don't. Look at it in a way that, A, there are bad apples out there in every single. And I got to tell you, the one thing I think Roman should have said there is, I'm not fucking dealing with that deadbeat loser again. That's what Roman should have said. Roman should have said, I'm not dealing with TPG. I certainly won't be. Well, you, I, I, mean, I mean, Roman's a smart businessman. He certainly won't be giving credit to that loser. And uh, I got to be completely frank with you. I think it's ridiculous that anyone would suggest another dealer is liable for another dealer. It don't fucking work that way. I mean, I mean, did Roman get a fee if for every deal that went through successfully? He didn't. So, guys, everybody loves Roman. I love my Roman. And uh, I got to tell you something. There are nasty fuckers out there, but Roman is one of the best. I love my Roman. I love my Roman. I'll tell you someone else who I really love, and that's David SW. If you want to buy or sell a watch, Roman's a good place. That's Luxury Bazaar. And I also would recommend David SW. And also that Wolven, Wolven, Wolven Original. Go to those guys too. Let's just run the ad for David SW. Love you, Roman. Roman, I love you. Everybody loves Roman Sheriff. Don't worry. That timepiece loser, he's history. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. 
don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. That's right, guys. David SW. That's where I'd go. And Roman and also that Wolven guy.